is going on guys? It is Tio here and I am back with the pickups. I'm actually not even sure what episode this is, so whatever, yeah. I've I've been very behind. That's all I'm gonna say. I'm gonna make a video once I have more free time to talk about what's been going on. But for now I actually have some time to actually get some pickups in, so we're gonna do that. These are from pickups from God. I don't know, the beginning of September to um the seventeenth, which was the PRGX. Pits are at your gaming expo, which I advertised massively as much as I could on social media. Made a video about it, as you know, and just, you know, g got it out there for the world. And it was a lot of fun, and I'll get to that at the very end. But first, we have a lot of awesome pickups to actually go through before we get to my PRGX stuff. So, without further ado, we're going to start this off with a bang. And I mean a bang. So, I was out with Leia for wherever, I don't even know where we were at. We are just out, whatever, and then I asked, hey, can we stop at Ninja Electronics? Because it says, why not? Because we think we made a wrong turn or something, I don't remember. And we're like, we're here, so it's like, whatever, we stopped. As um, I know, and as she knows, and as other people who have gone to that particular store. And that is my phone going off, and of course, it actually is Leia. Oh, fantastic. So, anyways. Those of you who got to the store, you know how slow they can be in there. Please. So... <laughs> Anyways, they're slow there, but after about 25 minutes, I paid 30 bucks for this. When they looked it up, I assume they just looked it up for the main console and not what else was with it. So yeah, 30 bucks for all of this. I cannot make this up. I cannot make this up. Came with power supply and two controllers. Yes, I finally own a Sega CD. It is about time that I own a Sega CD. And I am hyped. Beyond hyped for this. Like, I mean, I don't have that many games. I only have eight games, but I'm just glad to finally just get this. All I need is the 32X, and I have, like, the, the monster mash of consoles, for lack of a better term. Monster mash? Really? But... The Frankenstein, we'll say, the Frankenstein of all consoles with two add-ons and just all the fixings and all that jazz. So, 30 bucks for this. I I can't make this up. I can't make this up. 30 bucks, and I am beyond happy with that. And then the next day, um, I was actually coming home from church. But, um, did I? I don't even remember what order half the stuff's in. So, I know, I know what this was, but other stuff is just sprawled out. So, after church... I know I went to Goodwill, I think I got something, and then you'll see that eventually, but I don't even remember what it was. But, coming home from church, uh, coming home, we went to lunch, and then we were coming home, and there were random garage sales at Sunday at 12.30, so I'm like, okay. So I just pulled over, I'm like, I, I'm going to stop this real quick. So, unfortunately, I left my folks in the car for a half hour, which I was not intending. I was not intending at all. And, um... The only reason it was was because a lady was looking back and forth because I, I asked her, does she have video games? She's like, eh, I don't think I have any. And it's like, well, are you sure? And it's like, maybe like any old like Atari Nintendo. Like, wait a minute. I think I might have an Atari somewhere. So she goes and looks, finds nothing. I give her my number to, uh, you know, say, hey, if you find it, just call me. And we're, we're BSing about Beatles stuff because they had this Beatles uh, sheet music but with all the actual, with sheet music for all the recorded Beatles songs, which was impressive to me, which I was so tempted to get, but I didn't have enough money for it because they wanted a little bit more than I would have wanted to pay. So anyways, as we're BSing about that, her husband comes out and says, hey, I think I found it. So she goes back in again. I'm BSing with her husband for about five minutes. My parents are up my rear end like, where are you? I'm like, hold on. Hold on, I, I I cannot, I cannot, you know, be at fault for these people's slowness of this stuff, please. So eventually, she comes out, and it's like, it's not an Atari, which, whatever, but to me it was even better. And you might be able to see it now, maybe, you can tell what it is, I don't know. She comes out with it, I'm like, okay, how much are you looking for on this? I'm like, I don't know, just shoot me an offer, I'm like, God, I don't know, like five bucks, she's like, okay, sure. And she said, I have other games for it, and I'll call you if I, and I find them. So she, doesn't call, she, she still hasn't called me yet, so I don't know. They forgot, or they said, I don't know. Hopefully banking on that, they'll call. But for five bucks, regardless for this, yes. Yes, please. It's already been cleaned by Steven, so we're good. I finally own an Intellivision. 
Yep, five bucks for some television. I, uh, yeah. I can't make this stuff up. I can't. So, yeah. First in television, which I'm really glad to have. And funnily enough, I don't know if this is any difference. Uh, on the back, it says for promotional use only. If anybody out there has a television, do you have this sticker on the bottom of yours? And if you do, can you give me some more information about it? Because uh, that'd be swell. Because I know very little about the first and second generation of video game consoles. Um, I'm trying to learn as much as I can just throughout my throughout picking up stuff. But any help would be appreciated on that. It really would be. And also, I came with one game, and that is Zaxxon. So I think I'm up to like, I don't know, like six or seven in television games, maybe. I don't know. But yeah, that was cool. And also, before I started the garage sale, I got eliminated, which is actually pretty decent. You know, it's always, whenever you go to a garage sale, let me ask you this. Let me know down below. Whenever you go to a garage sale, and if, or any like flea market, church sale, whatever, if a child is selling lemonade or baked goods, do you buy them? Most of the time, I do. Because, you know, it's like a quarter for, for a lemonade and some homemade cookies, like four for a buck. You know, whatever. You know, you help the kid out. I, I feel like, I, I just feel like it's, it's a, such a nice gesture to help the kid, you know, it helps them, helps their self-esteem, like, yeah, somebody came and actually, you know, bought some for me, they, they bought my drink, you know, which was, you know, I don't know, I'm, I always go out and do it, just because, you know, why not, you know, 25 cent lemonade, sure, why not, and so I just do it, you know, to help them out, so, do you do that, yes or no, and if so, whatever your answer is, explain why, so, but, but the lemonade, and also, whatever, I ended up finding this toy, this toy truck, and I'm like, that looks oddly familiar. And I look in the bottom, I'm like, oh, that's why it's familiar. That's what I thought. Paid 50 cents for it, which, whatever, I'll take it. I'm not sure if this was from a kid's meal, or I don't know. But is it is an Excite truck. Um, sponsored by Nintendo, obviously, because, you know, the Excite truck games, the Excite games on the Wii. Can't remember what the other titles were in this series. But yeah, it is a Nintendo-branded uh, uh, toy truck, so... That was really cool to find. I expected, but sure. And then we're going to get to down to some random pickups. I got this the other week because... I First off, I didn't even know it existed. Secondly, I wanted to get this because I was going to sell some 360s at the PRGX, but I didn't actually get around to selling it. I brought one. Didn't sell, of course. So, um, as I have a bunch of uh, various uh, hard drives, as I've gone through my pickups before, and I didn't know there was actually a tool that you could transfer stuff from it to which is actually an official 360 hard drive transfer cable got this thing for like 10 bucks shipped on ebay so yeah that was actually cool to have i'm like i didn't know it existed i actually need it right now so we'll go for it thing works like a charm it, it, it yeah awesome to get and then i think this was like a buck or something at the good was it was it the same day no this wasn't this was okay this was like a week or so ago maybe uh for a buck because it was like the tag was whatever a buck uh, Fio Soccer by 3, but just in case I needed an upgrade or something, so, yay. Uh, this was cool. I'm now starting to go for it. Something I was going for, like, you know, loosely before, but now I'm kind of, you know, I'm set for it. I'm going for a complete Tony Hawk collection, and this was awesome to get, you know. I've been looking at this before, and I thought, I don't know if I want to buy this yet, and eventually I bought, I bite, I bit the bullet. There we go. And Best Buy had this for 10 bucks, originally 30, but marked down at 10 bucks. For the 360, we got Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 5. Yeah, I, I, I don't even get me started. I know. I know about this game. Don't tell me it sucks, because I already know that. Don't. So, 10 bucks. I thought, why not? Eventually, I got the PS3 version, and then shoot myself, because I have all the Pro Skater 5s. Which is not a good thing to have, but whatever. If you're going for a set, you have stuff like that. It happens. And this was actually really cool. Uh, this was, God, um, a couple weeks ago now. Yeah, coming up a couple weeks ago. I did a trade with a guy, uh, Pitcher Archer Gaming Group, for, I traded him Tecmo Super Bowl for two sets of this and a couple extras, which I had no idea these existed. I, these aren't really valuable. I know there are some in this set that actually are valuable, but the, the, the list is just totally just, it's not, com basically... They they have a basic list, but people don't know if there's any more that have been released because of just how, like, you know, because what it is, I'll show you right now. I'll explain. Um, it is, what is it? Uh, 
light span uh, educational video games for classrooms. I got PK's Math Studio, Math Adventure 1, PK's Place, Math Adventure 3, um, Chasmania, Trail of Gems, Reading Language Arts 1, uh, Calamity People and Traditions, uh, Reading Language Arts 2. And with these, these were sent to schools in the, in the late 90s or whatever. They actually were sent PlayStations um, and these games for educational use for children. Which was actually really cool, and I had no idea it even existed until these came to be in my possession. And so I, I learned more about it. It's actually really cool. They were sent these PlayStations, and they were, like I said, they were used for educational purposes. There was like a whole box set of them, a whole entire catalog of this stuff. And there are some that are actually that are that are known that are very hard to come by, just because they were they were produced around 2002, 2003-ish. In 2003, they were bought out, the company was bought out by another company and they scrapped this entire project entirely and everything was just, as far as I read, was destroyed, I believe. It's the very little, the last shipments that were out are, are known. Some of them are known and it's just like, how many of those are existing, nobody knows. So, if you actually are looking to collect this light, Lightspan uh, educational discs, good luck. Well, I mean, it's easy to get some of the stuff for cheap. It really is. But then there's, once you get down to the nitty gritty as far as getting specific titles, it's almost like getting, it's almost like getting a little Samson. Except you gotta get multiple little Samsons. You know what I mean? So, yeah. It's really cool to get them, though. I got two complete sets of this. One I'm trading over to Rob, the video game hoarder, which I got some of his pickups back there, and you'll see that next episode, because I'm behind. As you can tell, I'm, I'm behind. Um, so, I'm giving one set to him. I have uh, three extras. Uh, I can't remember which one I don't have an extra of or whatever. And then I have a complete set for myself. And these were only the, these were the only, only four discs the guy had. So, complete set as far as what he had. So, yeah. Really cool to have, though, regardless. Um, if I can, I could try to do a series on these. Just, you know, just a play through on them. Uh, eventually, because I'm trying to get a capture card that will work with my PS1 because... Yeah, PS, as, as I mentioned this before in a previous video, PS do, the PS1 is apparently too slow of a signal for the HTTPR to capture, so I gotta figure that out. But yeah, anyways, that was cool. And also, this was a buck. Uh, this was a good one in Lawrenceville. That's where I also got the um, FIFA. Um, Avatar Last Time Better complete book two for a buck. Red Tag was a buck that day. It was a Sunday, so yeah. Love Avatar. Love that show. Love that, yeah. Yes, just a buck for that. Yes, please. So I was stoked with that. And um, I was at Goodwill in North Hills with my buddy Aaron. Uh, you might know him before because I mentioned him. Uh, he was a big DDR guy. I got him the straw, I the strawberry shortcake DDR. I actually found this exact same Goodwill. I gave that to him. Um, you'll see him more frequently on the channel. Trust me, you're gonna see him more frequently. But we were at Goodwill and he bought me this for two bucks, which I really appreciate him doing. And that is for the Game Boy Color SpongeBob SquarePants Legend of the Lost Spatula. So. I'm gonna pop this in my Game Boy eventually and play it because, you know, I'm also going for a complete Nickelodeon set, or I don't know if I'm going for complete, but I'm trying to get as much, as many Nickelodeon games as I can just because I grew up on Nickelodeon. Never grew up on Disney Channel or Cartoon Network, really. Nickelodeon was my thing. I have nothing against those two channels, I just didn't grow up on them, so I can't have the same nostalgic, you know, effects as it did on some of you watching, possibly. So I was a Nick, I was a Nick kid. So, any Nickelodeon games I'm gonna try to find, I'm going to get them for any console, whatever, so... Yeah, this just helped out for that, so... Thank you, Aaron, for that. And also, I was at, um... Atlas with Leia, one, some... I don't even remember when. And for two bucks, I got Guitar Hero World Tour, which actually, I thought, completed my Guitar Hero set. Turns out, I already had my Guitar Hero set complete for a while now. When I got Smash Hits. I didn't realize I picked this up at... The Rogers Flea Market Hall from over the summer. It was sitting in a bin. I was getting stuff ready for PRGX, and I'm like, I'm looking, I'm like, what what the hell is this? I'm like, this is stuff from the flea market. Oh, I'm like, oh, there's a copy of Tar Hero World Tour in here. Fantastic. But this copy is in much better condition, so it's now recomplete? Sure. All the Katara's in 360? Done. Thank God. And lastly, this, I stopped in on a Sunday or whatever. I, no, this is the same day I was with Aaron. Same day I was with Aaron. I, I remember, I think I only had a buck for some reason. And this is all that I, I needed. I had buck and change. So well, the green tag was a buck that Sunday. And um, it is the Mario Kart Wii 
connects for Yoshi in standard cart building set. I don't know if I'm actually going to take this apart or set this up, but still, this is really cool for a buck, you know. I know it's a cool display. I don't know, like I said, if I'm a builder or not, but still, just really cool. Really cool regardless. Did not actually know Nintendo had made those. So, you know, more you know for a buck. So, let me get my PRGX pickups on here, and let's get it going. Okay, so if you did come to PRGX, thank you for coming. It was it was a blast meeting some of you guys. I actually got to meet Alpha Omega Sin. I'll put some pictures over top of this. And it, it was a great time. He bought, actually, some decent stuff off of me. I, he, I gave him a 30 buck lot, actually, which was actually you know pretty cool. So that was a lot of fun, getting to meet him and just BS with him. And just to meet all the other people from the Pittsburgh Retro Gaming Group. Some people that I've met before, people that I'm friends with, and just people that I've never met. It was, it was a fantastic time. As I said in the in the advertisement video, I was a vendor and it was it was a blast. It was an absolute blast. So if you couldn't come to it, um, come to the next one, please. This these events are only going to get better, bigger, and better. It, it's it's honestly fantastic. It's even if you're not too too big into gaming, just the experience you have. There's so many neat things, so many things you can learn. There's there, at the uh, expo, there were um, people doing pixel art, um, various homebrews. Um, there were, like, various accessories. Apparently, my friend was telling me, or Eric, actually, he was saying that oh, um, there was a Notice Me Senpai uh, mouse pad. So they got, like, other random kind of random stuff. Um, they had uh, promotions for, um, I believe, the Extra Life Gaming Foundation for... Uh, helping for like children's hospital or something like that. I can't remember off the top what it donates to, but charities like that. There were uh, competitions for Mortal Kombat, a Tony Hawk Pro Skater 3 score challenge, which I, I unfortunately did not get the chance to participate in. I'm sorry, Colt. I'm sorry. I just didn't have time. I wanted to, but I couldn't. So there was a, it, it's it's a fantastic time. Even if you're you know little into gaming or you're big into gaming, it, it's it's a fun time. You'll you'll find something. And just the interaction and just seeing the passion people have. It's it's great. It's a great experience. And I'm just thankful to have been a big part of it as a vendor. I've been I'm incredibly thankful. But along with being a vendor, I had to get some things for myself because, you know, you're gonna go to a convention, so obviously you're gonna get things for yourself. Work some trades out, buy some stuff, whatever. So this is what I got. Uh first off from the boy Kevin. I'm not going to say last names in this just for, you know, privacy's sake. He said, hey, I'll give this to you. So, okay. We get there, and he gave me the box only for Tony Hawk's American Skateland on the Game Boy. So, awesome. Thank you. Um, I can't remember his name. I did a trade with him. I traded him something. I don't even remember. That is really scratchy. Oh, my God. Is that going to scratch my table? Oh, well, you already might know what this is. Yeah, I traded him something and I got a, uh, a GameCube. Another Platinum GameCube. No wires or anything. The guy said it worked, so whatever. Um, it's got the digital AV and the analog AV, which is kind of, you know, which is the original release model of this. The, what the hell? This isn't the rubber stompers. Huh. I gotta be careful with this one. Jeez, I didn't even notice that until now. So, Platinum GameCube and also Dr. Mario. So, glad to have these. Um, yeah, thank you for that. Um, and this was also, I got this for seven bucks, um, from the boy, Chris. Chris, we and him, me and him were BSing a lot of the time. It was a fantastic time. Honestly, just, just saying, to, uh, to the PRG admins out there and the other people I've, I was talking to a lot, I'd love to do a hangout. I really would. Get Roper in this, whatever. That would be fantastic. That would be Fantastic. We can, we can figure something out if you guys are interested. We'll figure something out with that. It's up to you guys. But I'd be game for that, definitely. So anyways, besides from BSing with Chris for a lot of the time, I bought some things off him. Um, but he actually gave this to me for free because of the condition of it, which I appreciate him doing. Ironically enough, it's another Nickelodeon game. For the PS2, we got Rocket Power Beach Bandits. So, yeah. Yeah. Duh. And um, I, this is what I originally bought from for 7 bucks. Each two bucks a piece, probably minus seven, whatever. So, I got four Game Boy games, the first of which is a Game Boy Color, which I never even knew this game existed on this console. NBA Hoops. 
I didn't even know there was a Game Boy adaptation of this game. I never even knew about it. So, that's cool. Probably gonna look like a bleach shit, but still, cool. And I got some SpongeBob games I needed. We got Battle for Bikini Bottom, Revenge of the Flying Dutchman, and Super Sponge. So, glad to have those. Hopefully I can get these things boxed. I do have the box for uh, Battle for Bikini Bottom because I actually uh, traded that away to one of, to a friend of mine from Marching Band, and he actually did come up clutch this time around. I think I traded him Battlefield Four and something else. Jake, if you can remember, tell me what I traded you. But for whatever that the Battlefield Four and the whatever other game that's not coming to mind, I got a sealed copy. Of Mario and Sonic, the Olympic Winter Games, Sochi 2014 for the Wii U. Just sealed. Look. Sealed. So, I'm, as you know, I'm going for a complete Wii U set. At least I'm trying my best to. So, I'm going to open this thing up. Because I need this. So, yeah. Thank you, Jake. Thank you. That was that was awesome. So, I traded that anyways. I traded the copy, uh, one of the loose copy from the box copy of Battle for Community Bottom, so now it's re-complete. That's not even a word, but we'll just make it a word now. I've made up so many words in this series, it's not even funny. I also mentioned, I stopped, I did this, I stopped doing this a couple years ago, but, no, a year ago maybe. But, in the beginning when I was doing this series, I would always say bought purchases. Bought purchases? I was an idiot. But then again, I'm the one here making up re-completed. I don't even know if, if that actually is a real word, then never mind all my rambling there. I don't even know, to be honest. I'm, I'm not a walking dictionary. If I was, that'd actually be pretty cool, but scary at the same time. Anyways, so I digress. I also got eight Dreamcast games out of this. Most of this was, was from uh, Mike. Um, I'm not saying those names, obviously, for... That, um, no, the cop one wasn't, yeah, I can't remember, god, who this, what the guys were, uh, but I got this for seven bucks, uh, complete copy of Shadow Man and the Dreamcast, most of these games, I didn't even know were games, to be honest, um, four, this was four bucks off of Mike, uh, Fighting Force 2, it's missing its manual, but I have the manual and the actual back art, so once I find that, thing's complete, which is cool, uh, for six bucks, Sports. No, I, I I traded him stuff. So this is just whatever the prices were. So never mind. Never mind the prices. This is the only thing I bought. So we got a stream sports, Looney Tunes Space Race, 404 Evo, a Revolution. Pardon me. I never knew this game existed. Seventh Cross Evolution. What? Oh, okay. Another copy of NFL Blitz 2000 because mine apparently is a blockbuster copy. So, it's missing, like, literally the whole manual, so. Nice to have that complete. And, uh, Soul Fighter, which, like I said, was well as many of the titles, never heard of. So, nice to have these off the list. I believe I'm at 96 right now, so I'm so close to breaking 100 Dreamcast games. So, if any of you guys are willing to help out with that, um, I would be game to work on a trade. No doubt. Because, like I said, I want to go for that. The Wii U set and the GameCube set. And speaking of GameCube... Got some game games. Did a trade with oh goodness gracious, your name is not coming to my name, Corey. Um, and we're still meeting up, and this is whatever. So, because he bought some stuff of me, and apparently it was there was issues with it. Uh, things weren't working with that as far as the games were going. So we're we're figuring that out. But again, Corey, sorry for that. I I, I feel awful for that. I really do. But before all that mishap happened, mishap happened. Could I have not come up with a better word choice? Anyways. Before that happened, uh, we, we already worked on a trade. I was trading him Metroid Prime and um, Kingdom Hearts for two GameCube games and a manual. I got the, I got the manual for Metroid Prime 2 Echoes, which I already put in the game case. And I also got Tide Tasmania and Tiger, which I believe you said was complete before, but it's not. So I'm kind of bummed out at that, but hey, whatever, you know. Well, it happens, whatever. I should even know this was an EA game. I didn't even know that. Huh, more you know. And a uh, Black Label variant of, a well, Black Label, the original release of Ultimate Spider-Man. Because with the GameCube set I'm going for, 
Because I have a lot of the more notable titles, like Paper Mario, the Star Foxes, as um, players' choice titles. So I thought I might as well just go for the complete players' choice and Black Label set. Because I've already got a lot of the heavy hitters and the more popular titles out of the way for the players' choice. So you might as well. That's what I'm going to do. So I'm getting the variants. And you'll see more of those in Rob's pickups. Yeah, that, it's going to get intense. And then also, did a trade with... Um, I actually got paid. I did a trade and got paid, which is cool. Um, for uh, with uh, Brian, one of the admins of PRG, great dude. Um, I got Eternal Darkness, Sanity's Re Requiem, complete. Oh, that was yeah. That's a good way to handle a thirty-five dollar game. Good job, Tyler. So yeah, complete in there. Glad to have this. And also, this was twenty-two fifty. Uh, I did a trade for. I traded a Game Boy Pocket for this. Complete copy, double dash. So if anybody needs a double dash. Hey, I got you. So I'm sorry for the rambling. It's been a long time since I've done this. And I just had a lot to talk about, a lot to catch up on. And especially for those of you who didn't go, a lot to fill you in on what happened at PRGX. You you had to be there. And actually, speaking of PRGX, I almost forgot. The way I was positioned as a vendor, I was next to Nintendo. They actually got, there's a local Nintendo rep uh, who was there showing off, because like, whatever, they have connections to them. To her, actually. I'm sorry. And um, her name's Tiffany. She's she's awesome. We were talking with her for a while. Me and Leia were. She's she's awesome. So they were showing off the Wii U and the 3DS, whatever. And they had freebies to give away. Let me show you the stuff that I got. I'm not even going to cut this. All right. Got a cube for Super Mario Maker. Both for me and Leia. We both got our own copies. So cube for that. Sweet. Um, a Yokai Watch uh, headband. Which is really cool. It is a uh, Jibanyan. Okay, didn't know the title existed. Um, God, I can't remember what the title of this is. Uh, Cheek Squeak. Um, butt masks. So cool. These are all freebies, mind you. Super Mario Maker helmet. Both me and Leia have one of these. Really glad to have it. Um. Oh, here's another box. Whatever unfolded. Um. They, this is actually part of their s display in the front. Let me show you this. Um, it says, says Nintendo on it with a bunch of stars. So I said I could have it when they were cleaning up, so I got it. Don't know what I'm going to use it for, but yeah, freaking cool. And then we got a bunch of awesome posters. You are not going to believe this, some of the stuff. You're not going to believe it. But guess what? Believe it. It was all free. Others from the PRGX can confirm this. We got Hyrule Warriors Legends. Probably for both me and Lance. Fire Emblem Fates for both me and Leia. Oh, I have three copies. I didn't even notice that. Okay. Well, if anybody needs a copy, let's trade for a copy. Let me know. Uh, Metroid Prime Federation Force for both me and Leia. Uh, Xenoblade Chronicles X. Oh, okay. Never mind. I thought it was good. Uh, Amiibo Cross... Animal... Amiibo Crossing. Animal Crossing Amiibo Festival. Um, Pokemon Super Mystery Dungeon. Which I even knew, I didn't even know existed. More you know. Um, we got also uh, Mario Sonic at the Rio 2016 Olympic Games. This one's double sided with uh, Zelda Triforce Heroes and Pokemon Super Mystery Dungeon, which is really cool double sided poster. Really cool. And then lastly, we have an advertisement or a poster for Yokai Watch. So all these posters were free, which was awesome. Really awesome. Uh, hopefully I can get these things framed or something. Just hang some of them up because that would be really cool to have. Really dope. Give them out as gifts. Whatever. I'm glad to have these. And it was a it was a great time. Just say if you, didn't, if you didn't go, you missed out on a lot. It was one of the best times I've had in, God, at least six months at that expo. It was so much fun. Me and Lambo both had a great time. And if you did come again, like I said, thank you for coming. Thank you. It was nice seeing you there. Uh, first, I had a few of my friends come, and just other people from the PRG. Like I said, Alpha Mega Sin, all the other, all the other members of Pitcher Culture Gaming, the Pitcher Culture Gaming Facebook group. I can speak proper English, right? So, just thank you guys for showing up. It was, it was fantastic. It really was. And obviously, thank you to the admins for arranging this all, especially you know Brian, Colt, uh, Chris, and Adam, and all the other helpers, which was what Steve and. 
Kevin? I think that's right. Steve and Kevin? If I'm getting that wrong, please let me know. This is off the top of the head. I know Kevin's a definite. I think Steve might be. But anyways, thank you to them for helping get this thing set up. It was a fantastic time for all. And yeah, just stay tuned for next year's PRGX. It's, it's going to be bigger and better. So yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching once more. I'm sorry for the length of this. I just had a lot to catch up on, especially with PRGX. And just the first time getting back into this for a while. So once again, guys, thank you so much for watching. Also, answer that question I asked earlier about the garage sales and lemonade and all that jazz. I want to hear your opinions on that. So thanks for watching, guys. If you did enjoy, please a thumbs up down below. Um, let me know if you. Um, let me know what famous YouTubers or I guess quote unquote we'll show, what YouTubers have you met at a at an expo or a convention. Let me know who you've met. So um, yeah, once again, guys. I'm being texted again, Jesus Christ. Ugh. Anyways, if you're new to my channel, please subscribe. You'll see more content like this, hopefully on a more regular basis. Just life's been life's been wacky. I'll explain that like I said in another video. So, yeah guys. Thanks for watching once more and I'll talk to you guys next time.